Conceive, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here. You're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Welcome back to Combat Sports UK. My next guest is UFC veteran Alex Caceres, ahead of his return to the Octagon on December 17th. Alex, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Awesome, awesome. Obviously, we're just, you know, just over a week away from your return. You know, December 17th, taking on Julian Arosa. How are you feeling as we get so close to fight week now? I'm feeling good. Feeling as good as I can feel before fight week. Of course. And as we mentioned, taking on Julian Arosa, I know you're not someone who watches the fight game too much, out, you know, just in your personal time. But what do you make of your opponent? What are you expecting him to bring on, on fight night? Uh, he seems like a tough opponent, you know. He's definitely, he's tall. Um, I know he's a, he has good good striking. So it should be a good fight. <laughs> For sure. And after your last fight with Sadiq back in March, you know, how's your time been off? From fighting, I know you did. You had your, your Fury fight as well, and you know what have you been doing in your time? Uh, just training, just keeping things fresh, keeping things. Yeah. Um. Have you after what going back and watching that last fight? Have you seen anything that you've felt you needed to work on heading into this next fight? Um. Not necessarily. I felt like the the last fight was kind of a uh, kind of iffy on my part. You know. Uh, I didn't think uh, leg kicks were going to be that uh, devastating or in the scorecards, that is. <laughs> so, you know, um, I don't know. I don't really feel like um, the last fight did anything to me mentally. It was just a, it was another one on the record. Yeah, for sure. And just tell me about your camp and your gym. Obviously, I think it's Hidden Lotus. Is that right? I've You know, I've seen on Instagram that you've been helping out with some of the coaching is, do you enjoy the coaching side of fighting out of interest? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like teaching, teaching people martial arts. It's fun. Could you see yourself maybe doing a bit more of that when you're, you know, hang up the gloves? Is it something you've thought about at this stage of your career? Well, I mean, I'm doing it now. So <laughs> yeah, the thought has come and gone already. And it's, the... Yeah, it's, it's the present at the moment. That's what I like doing. I like, uh, training and I, I just like training so people I like training with people training people or just talking about it um just involving myself in it so any which way so owning a gym was the best way to keep doing that and in your gym I imagine obviously being a UFC fighter for the for the younger generation who are just learning fighting it must mean a lot for them who are you know being trained by someone at the top of the game can do you notice that when you're training people uh, not really. I would hope so. I mean, um, they would feel, they would feel like it was good training, you know, and I, and I feel like we just trained good. I never, really, I, I'm, I'm honestly don't put too much mind into a lot of the such, I would say surface intricacies. That kind of brings me on to my next question. I've, I've spoken to a few UFC fighters recently who've explained to me that they don't necessarily enjoy fighting. They do it because they're good at it. They, you know, it, it puts the meals on the table, all that sort of stuff. I'm just curious, to what extent would you agree with that? Do you enjoy actually fighting? Yeah, I, I do. I enjoy every minute of it. I love fighting. I love, um, I love especially performing um, uh, martial arts while fighting, you know, because fighting is one thing. Fighting is um, trying to clarify a certain subject, whether it's something within yourself or within the action itself, or within the uh, uh, the realm of reality, depending, or it could just be in your mind that you're trying to resolve. But whether you're fighting against people or fighting with yourself, I, I enjoy um, the combative state that you can take in order to resolve an issue, you know, because it's never with malice, it's not with hate, it's not with anger, it's simply, um, this is a way to involve my body and my mind entirely, including my emotions, into solving a problem rather than just solving a problem just mentally or solving a problem just physically i can really get into it and so marsh that's what martial arts helps me do so that's what i love about doing it so i do love fighting i do love fighting um and i love fighting with skill well that's kind of what i ask i've spoken to people you know recently who some just say they just don't enjoy fighting that's why I've, i felt like i have to ask now and again just to see well where people's heads are at with it but that's, that's interesting i didn't really think of it in that sort of it is like a game isn't it like you're doing it to test yourself. You're doing it to put yourself through the limits. So, um, but like honestly, yeah, I, I enjoy the I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy 
like like honestly like every time i fight with somebody like as weird as it sounds for that 15 minutes they feel like my best friend you know like we're that we're that cool with each other that we can hit each other on a, in a professional setting and like i don't know like it for that moment like i know this person and i enjoy like being able to and I think where that comes from is the fact that you're being able to express yourself freely without limitation, um, within the limitations of set rules, of course, but being able to express yourself with free limit, with, with free from limitation of force and power, you know, a, against a person that is willing. Because there's one thing to do it against an unwilling participant. You will feel remorse, you'll feel bad about it, but it's another thing to be able to test yourself at the highest levels, pushing yourself to the furthest extent with a willing participant as well you know it's like and like like for instance if you go to the forest right and you go and you murder little animals you do it long enough you're gonna feel bad about it you know what i'm saying um if you even people that eat meat they go look at what happens in slaughterhouses sometimes in bad ones a lot of them yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah they feel bad about it so we don't like doing this um, um committing violence or committing um anything to the full extent to unwilling parties, whether it be um, sexual, whether it be physical, whether it be mental, you know, the party must be willing, then both parties enjoy themselves much more. What I feel like, I believe if we understand it that way. So for fighting for me, that's how it is. I'm, you're giving me an opportunity to be myself. See, that's kind of, yeah, that's exactly why I asked that question. I love to just understand the mindset the fighters have when they get into the cage, because a lot of them have have different mindsets. And I like hearing the way you phrase it like that. It's really interesting. And just as someone who, you know, you don't keep as up to date with what's going on inside the cage when you're not fighting necessarily. I'm just curious, you know, you know, don't you don't even necessarily keep up to date with the rankings, that sort of thing. I remember you said before your last fight. So I'm just out of interest. What are your goals in the sport? Um... I don't have goals in the sport like um, that aren't that aren't um, short sighted, that aren't like when the next fight, you know, that's the only goal that I will have, like uh, ultimately in every fight is oh, I got to win this fight, I got to win this fight. Um, but whatever happens, it happens. But like that's it's just day to day goals. Like I have a goal. Um, I have like more long term goals in life, I feel like and fighting is a part of that, you know, being a UFC fighter and training and being a martial artist that's world-renowned martial art you know like that's a part of that being of that goal um in the bigger picture but honestly like in the sport i don't know um like i like people were asking me the same questions i'm like okay man i've been in the sport long i've been in the ufc very long so i figured if i can be the longest um person on an active roster that i'll be okay there's a there's a goal that i can try and meet but other than that it's not like i don't care to it's it's of uh, working in the UFC, it's a wonderful thing, but it's superficial. It's not life. It's entertaining, honestly, mostly drunk people, which is fine. Like, I don't mind people. Some people need um, a little bit of winding off, you know, the long, hard day's work. Sometimes watching other people beat the shit out of each other is fun for them and relaxing. It is for me. You know, I like watching fights. You know, I don't keep up with the sports or anything like that or anything, but I do like watching fights. I like getting into scraps. I like sitting here and watching the kids spar and watching other people roll around doing jiu-jitsu. I love all types of, I like just looking at competition, even when it comes to various different sports. But for the most part, yeah, I don't have any goals outside of like um, being a good husband and being a good father when I get that opportunity as well. Um, traveling the world, maybe that's a good goal to have. Like I want to see different places as much as I possibly can. So other than that, man, it's just honestly, I love fighting. I love it to death. I love doing it. I love every moment in the case. Sometimes I wish I had more rounds and stuff, you know, but um, it is just something that I do. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned just traveling the world then because it does kind of lead on to this next one. I'm sure, I feel like I know your answer already, but it's been confirmed today, you know, the UFC is back in London in March for the big uh, Edwards versus Usman trilogy fight. So without, you know, I assume the answer would be yes, but assuming everything goes well in this fight, could we, could, you know, would you be interested in appearing on a London card in March? Of course. Of course I have been. Yeah. It's, have you been to the UK out of interest? So that would be a new one for you as well. Yeah. 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 Great. I wouldn't mind. It'd be interesting. Um, and just whilst we're on the topic of London and the UK, I'd just love to ask you really quickly on one of the UK's growing stars, whatever your thoughts may be on Paddy Pimblett. I'm just curious because everyone has their opinion on him. 
Um, I, I, I mean, I seen him fight. He looks pretty explosive and good. I, I honestly maybe seen like two fights, but other than that, um, I don't know too much about him. I know like he blows up after, after like fights and stuff, like he'll get big and then come back down six packs, which is pretty funny. But other than that, yeah, um, he's winning, right? <laughs> so far, so he's doing good. So you can do really. Uh, you're one of the long, like you've already mentioned, you're one of the longest active UFC fighters who have been on the roster that we've seen for as long as we can remember, nearly 12 years, I believe. And how do you reflect on your time since that stint on the Ultimate Fighter? As in, like, reflecting on the events that yeah everything that's happened since then how do you reflect on all that time what's it been like for you in your life a lot of it man honestly oh i hate to admit it this way but it's been like a like sometimes a blur you know like sometimes it happens so fast um but for the parts that i do remember which are usually the major parts i can sometimes yeah document like time my timeline of my life through the fights that i had and um, it's been a it's been a pretty crazy trip, you know, and I do think back on it sometimes, like the places I've been to, the fights I had, sometimes how tough they were, sometimes like thinking about like small moments that happened in fights where like I wanted to give up, but I didn't, you know, or even the opposite moments where I thought I had the entire world in my hands and it's like moments like that, they, they definitely hold a special place in your memories and they paint a more fuller picture so if anything it feels it feels pretty fulfilled you know i feel it feels it feels good and, and it also feels like not enough <laughs> gotta do more that's good that not enough is a great mindset to have i think it me you know it'll motivate you to keep going as the years roll on as well and i guess my final question for you just as i you know don't take up too much of your time five years from right now where do you see yourself Um, fighting in the UFC. Happy fighting in the UFC for another five years. Yeah, I mean, what I'm, I'll be 40, 4, 39, 39. Yeah, that's good. Your Sounds Romero's good. like what, almost fifty? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like forty-seven. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I got, I, I got, I've been, I've been taking care of myself pretty well. So as long as I can do it, um, I would like to do it, um. Yeah, it is a cool idea to toy with, you know, to be like really old and still doing it, like be one of those guys, like like just a super skillful old dude, maybe 50, 55, have white beard, hopefully. <laughs> Love it. I hope to see Who knows? I don't know. It sounds good. No, that sounds good to me. Five years still in the UFC. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. Not I, uh, yeah. I uh, like I, training. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're still fighting, that that seems like a pretty good way to keep going, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. If not, then, you know, worst comes to worst, and I'm in Bellator. Or... Yeah, that Here. sounds good, too. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Alex, that, that's all the questions I had for you, Alex. I really appreciate you speaking to me. Alex Casera is back in action December 17th against Julian Arosa. This has been Combat Sports UK. Alex, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it, man.